Hey, good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, as always, as we're getting going here and you're signing on, please do say good morning. Please say hello so that I can, I can properly greet you. Um, I want to talk today about intentionally co-creating. And, and here's where I'm going with this. So, so for those of you who may be new to this, um, that language may sound um, kind of confusing. <laughs> or maybe not quite sure what the description is. Here's where I'm going from, and, he, and here's actually where it came from. This morning I was having a conversation with a client who is looking at a chief of staff role as well as building out his own consultancy with a, with a partner. And one of the things that came up, in, on, and actually it was, a, it, was, it was the same topic on both tracks, what came up was that fear that comes up when we start to talk about compensation or we talk about structuring what the, the engagement's gonna look like and the price, and what if the price is too high, Good morning, Rob. Um, what, if, um, what if this isn't what they had in mind? What if this isn't what they had from a budget standpoint? And I said, okay, well, let's, let's talk about this. If you wanna think about it in terms of negotiation, the negotiation started the second you started having conversations, but let's not even think about it from a negotiation standpoint. Let's think about it from a co-creation standpoint. And this is the intentionality behind whether you are looking for a job, whether you're looking for consulting opportunities, whether you're building out a business of finding those opportunities. And this is, at, this is at the core of finding and connecting with work that you love, which means connecting with individuals that you share the same values with, that you share a vision on where you're going. And this doesn't mean that you have to build a company together. This can be the role that you're stepping into in, in your next full-time opportunity. So it applies across the broad spectrum. But what it requires is from the beginning, getting very clear on what it is you're going to be accomplishing together and continuing to evolve that conversation every step of the way around getting greater and greater clarity on what they want, what you can and want to do, and what you're building together. So at the end, when you come to start talking about compensation, you have a plan, you have a vision that is unique to you and them. And the critical importance here is that when that moment comes up and the number that you put out is too high or it's not what they were thinking, it doesn't become like amazon.com sort by price and if they're talking to other people, all of a sudden they're gonna go to what's cheaper. That's what you want to avoid here. You want to avoid being commoditized. So what it creates is the space to then have a deliberate conversation about what were they thinking it was going to cost? What have they budgeted? Are we clear on what that budget that they had means from their vision on an ROI standpoint? Can you expand the ROI? Have you expanded the ROI? But the important piece here is that you have connected with individuals and you have co-created something and that becomes a very, very difficult thing to walk away from. It becomes a really difficult thing to walk away from. And again, very different if I've got, like I'll go back to what we're going through right now. You know, we had flooding here at the end of, of Ada last Wednesday, about a foot of water came over, the entire neighborhood was submerged. Um, and I'm not using that lightly, people out here in, in <laughs> kayaks and stand up paddle boards paddling around the neighborhood. Um, you know, it would be very easy to look at the bids we have to get flooring replaced on our first floor. And thankfully we've got minimal damage. Some of our neighbors, not so lucky. Um, it'd be very easy just to sort by price. It so happens that one of the people that we're looking at happens to be a close friend. So I, I'm more drawn to somebody that I know and I know where the money's going and I know who it's helping, right? So you think about that in the context of four people putting bids together and you might sort by price. The insurance company would love to sort by price. But in this moment, I'm drawn to that one individual that I happen to know, and I know their family, and I know where this money's going, and I know how it's gonna help, and, and they do phenomenal work. So think about how you position yourself in the conversations that you're having, even exploratory conversations, to build out and co-create something together so that at the end, there's more context with the money. It's stickier you know where it's going, there's trust as you're being paid maybe higher than other people would be paid on what it is you're gonna create and what you're gonna drive forward. 
So I'm curious for you in terms of where you are right now and coming and watching this, whether you're in the midst of looking for something, whether you're building out your own business, whether you've got a business up and running, um, what comes up for you? What are some of the insights around this? Would love to hear from you below. And on that note, gonna wrap up. Have a phenomenal weekend, and I'll look forward to seeing you back here on Monday. Well, actually, I'll be coming to you from Isla Morada down in the Keys all next week. So I'll be coming to you Monday at 10 from different locations. So have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.